Across rural India, something extraordinary is unfolding. In regions once known only for agriculture, a new identity is emerging, built not on crops but on code. Villages are quietly transforming into tech labs, from DIY robotics to AI teachers, from rural coding hubs to homegrown satellites. This is India's grassroots innovation wave. Welcome to Silicon Gao, where the future is being written one village at a time. The transformation begins in the most unexpected place, a rural classroom. In Kerala, the state has embedded robotics and coding into its public school curriculum. Over 4.3 lakh students now engage in real hands-on learning, building circuits, working with sensors and writing code. Through the KITE-initiated 29,000 robotic kits and trained instructors have turned basic classrooms into rural innovation labs. But the real icon of this digital leap, meet Iris, India's first AI-powered humanoid teacher. Developed by Make Labs EduTech, Iris is deployed in a rural Kerala school. She teaches multiple grades, speaks multiple languages and runs lesson with AI precision. Iris is not a concept, she is already teaching India's next generation of rural techies. In Odisha, innovation has leapt even further. Thanks to mentorship from the Young Tinker Foundation, young students are building complex real-world tech solutions. They've developed a helium balloon satellite to monitor crops, a decentralized ethanol unit to process agricultural waste. Two students from Government High School Soro will showcase a helium balloon satellite that uses LIDAR, nano sensors and advanced technology to deliver real-time farm data to small-scale farmers, helping improve yields and efficiency. Similarly, one man chose a different path. While most chase dreams in metro cities, Sridhar Vembu invited those dreams to the village instead. The founder of Zoom, he set up his company's offices in rural Tamil Nadu and asked engineers to migrate there, not the other way around. By training local youth and building world-class softwares from the heart of Tenkasi, he proved that India's next tech revolution doesn't need skyscrapers, it just needs signal and belief. In Bihar, young women at the Sapna Center are learning web development, app design and digital tools that prepare them for freelance and startup work directly from their villages. No need to migrate to metros. The future of work is now accessible from home. I am studying in Rajasthan, Barefoot College has taken things a step further by training rural women in solar technology, electronics assembly and hardware repair. These women aren't just users of technology, their builders, tinkerers and troubleshooters bringing technical solutions to remote regions that once had no electricity. So how are these tools reaching the last mile? Through common service centers, tiny tech hubs managed by locals trained in digital service delivery from online banking to KYC to document processing. Villagers now access services through a computer desk at the local CSC. I didn't know how many people were able to do this, but now we have a whole lot of people who are able to do this screening, who are able to do this screening, who are able to do this screening, who are able to do this screening. So, we have a lot of people who are able to do this screening. Rural India is not just catching up, it's catching fire. From robotics labs in Kerala to AI-powered teachers in dusty classrooms, from drone satellites over rice fields to girls in Bihar building websites from home. This is in Silicon Valley, this is Silicon Gaon.
India's rural tech revolution rising one innovation at a time and it's only just beginning.